you. Give it up for all 800 comics that came out before me tonight. Woo! Boy, it's a white male fiesta tonight. <laughs> wow. I was going to tell you, uh, my, not my first time in the Phoenix area, but my first time in Scottsdale. Was that a... Uh, Area I've never been to before, and a woman walked up to me and asked, is there a Starbucks around here? And without even looking up, I went, yes. <laughs> it's America. I think about the rest of the world is way too freaked out about earthquakes. I'm not freaked out about earthquakes. I'm from California. Small earthquake, come on. Sometimes you need all your stuff laid out on the ground. <laughs> it's not an earthquake. It's God doing an intervention for hoarders. scared to death. Have fun with death. Have fun with your will. No one wants to deny the wishes of someone who just died. You can write anything in there. Your family will try to make it happen. I'm going to write in that I want to be scattered, but not cremated. Let them figure it out. And I type my will in my favorite font. You guys have a favorite font? I, a lot of people love Times New Roman or Century Gothic or Ariel. I love Comic Sans. Yeah, don't you? Comic book letters. I print out my bank statement in that font. Even the word foreclosure looks fun. I realize that my daughter has taken imaginary friends to a new level. Uh, she has an imaginary sibling. So you thought you felt silly having to talk to an imaginary child? I have to discipline an imaginary child. Perfect opportunity to bring back spanking, though. Because <laughs> if I hit my own kid, I might get in trouble. But that imaginary kid, I wail on his ass. <laughs> Set an example for the real ones. I'm amazed when people just believe without even thinking about my children. If everyone says, oh, the word retarded is offensive. No, it's not. No, it's not. Look in a dictionary. Disabled is offensive. Disabled means unable, incapable, can't do it at all. Retarded just means slow. He sounds smooth now, doesn't he? You call a kid disabled, you're saying he can't do it. You call him retarded, you're saying he can do it. We're going to be here all night, but he can do it. That's an important difference. A retarded kid can get a job, just not a time-sensitive job. Like, I don't know, bomb diffuser? Hell no. Bad job for the retarded kid. <laughs> Way too many deadlines in that line of work. Cut the blue one. Stop yelling at me! I question everything I hear. By the way, the, the comics always talk about this. I don't think it's true. Women are so much more complex. Women are so much more complicated and, and emotional. No, women are not more complex or emotional than men. They're just allowed to be. Men would like to be that way too. It's just not socially acceptable. If a man ever utters the phrase, oh my God, there better be somebody on fire. Or else you are the gay guy and you're, <laughs> and you're friends forever. I was reading something about, uh, I realized that animals are apparently gay 10% of the time, just like people. Animals are gay 10% of the time. Yeah. There's the story they never told us about Noah's Ark. <laughs> that would have been fun. <laughs> Let's all the animals off the ark. All right, now procreate. Uh, ew. Oh, crap. Oh, I should have checked that out first. Hey, God, no more woolly mammoths. <laughs> And the pandas are faking it, but they're going to stop eventually. Right? Oh, man. I think I should have been born in a different era. I was the first V-neck I've owned in years, just because I have chest hair. And when the hell did that become evil? <laughs> Women used to like chest hair back in the day, and, and they try to make you feel better. Oh, a little happy trail? You got a happy trail? That's okay. A little happy trail? I don't have a happy trail. I got an angry highway, all right? This is... This is traffic. <laughs> I didn't always do this. Uh, I had a master's degree in clinical psychology. I could have been your shrink. 
But I'm glad I got that degree, though. Everyone's like, oh, now you're a comic. God, it's still great. Great revenge on my parents. I don't care how much you love your parents. I love mine to death, but you're mad at something they did to you growing up. And I'm not one of those, you see those kids, they ruin their own lives to get back at their parents or pretend they are. It's like, I'm going to do drugs all day and never get a job. That'll show them. <laughs> no, you're doing that for yourself. Because you want to get back to your parents, you'll do what I did. Let them pay for seven years of college. Then on graduation day, say, I'm going to be a comedian. That works. 